Streaming has been a business that everyone has gotten into. It's super easy, isn't it? We play games all the time anyways, why not showcase our gaming talents to the world and make some money off of it? While up-and-coming young streamers and Twitch's kings and queens have a massive following, but people seem to forget the streamers on the platform who were already there from day one. These streamers have been so loyal and committed to their viewers that they have consistently kept streaming for over a decade now. They've been around since the early days and have kept their following. Since Twitch.tv was actually called Justin.tv, these streamers have consistently kept their viewers entertained and their content fresh to this day. Here's a list of the top 10 streamers since day one on Twitch. But before we dive into this topic, please make sure you hit the subscribe button on the bottom right. Number 10. Ryan Noob Since November 1st, 2008 Ryan Noob is one of the longest streaming Twitch streamers on the platform. Ryan Noob's main game has always been the same, Halo. The man is a monster at Halo. His offensive capabilities and his abilities with that DMR and pistol combo is yet to be rivaled in the Halo scene. In fact, his Halo capabilities were so good that he ended up playing competitive Halo. That's right, Ryan Noob is a professional streamer and a professional Halo esports player. There's an infamous clip of him where he secures a victory for his team Trifecta and walks over to the opponents to talk trash. He's known for his rash attitude in the Halo scene, and this clip just proves it. Number 9. Cray G Since September 26, 2008, Cray G is one of the most popular Twitch personalities, period. His streams might not be retaining the same number of viewers and followers, but every single person on Twitch knows his name by heart. Infamously known for the Craigasm meme, which turned into one of Twitch's biggest emotes to date, Craigie has been on Twitch since late 2008 and has managed to consistently remain one of the best streamers out there. His followers have been increasing slowly and surely, while his game choices usually remain single-player games. His streaming schedule has remained as consistent as always, with him playing different Grand Theft Auto games from all different eras. He also does a ton of different things, such as cooking streams and his classic bourbon just chatting streams. Number 8. Sajam Since August 27, 2008, Sajam is a classic gamer. He's been with Twitch since August of 2008 and has been killing it on the platform since the very beginning of it all. Sajam's main bread and butter is streaming, and his catalog of games is absolutely immense. He plays a ton of different games, from multiplayer shooters to single-player adventure and roguelike games to his main set of video games, fighting games. Sajam's passion for fighting games was wild ever since he was a kid, playing Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat when they came out and following that trend into a new generation of fighting games. His recent streams while playing the Game of the Year Hades have been some of the most refreshing content from him. He's just a fun guy to hang around with. And his analysis of fighting games, especially of esports content that he watches, is banger. Before we continue with a gamer girl who's around for quite a while now, we want to ask you to like this video to fully support us and help us grow. Number 7. Desi Since August 18, 2008 Moving on, we have one of the most casual gamers on the platform. Desi has been on Twitch since August 18th of 2008, and her content has been fresh since the beginning. Her starting content was mainly games like Guild Wars 2 and RuneScape, where she sort of relaxed while gaming and talked to her viewers a ton. Recently, she has expanded her horizons a whole lot and is playing a ton of different games, but she still keeps her just chatting schedules on time and always has time to interact with her viewers. Her go-to game currently is still Guild Wars 2. However, she's been playing Overwatch a lot recently and has been racking up a bunch of kills in each game she plays. Aside from her usual gaming and chat streams, she also does cosplay for her streams, and she has a TikTok account which she updates semi-regularly. Number 6. Gothix Since August 26, 2007 Gothix has been on Twitch since the 26th of August, originally starting out as a gamer. Her content shifted to a more podcast-like nature. She is one of Twitch's most outspoken people regarding, well, everything. Her content on Twitch has been limited to mainly gaming, but her content on YouTube is simply wild. While you might not agree with most of her opinions, such as in the videos, political correctness doesn't correct anything, or seven reasons why I voted for Donald Trump, I think it's safe to say that everyone respects her boldness and confidence in her own opinions. Her current gaming content revolves around games such as Monstrum, and she has also been seen playing games like Cyberpunk 2077. She also has her own podcast known as Subtweet This, which has a ton of political comedy content to enjoy. Number 5. SCO Since May 22, 2007, 
Scott McMillan, also known as SCO to his thousands of Twitch followers, is a professional streamer and Twitch partner. SCO has been pouring out insane content over the past decade of his addiction to World of Warcraft. His streams playing the game or just his videos explaining the game have become a super helpful factor that has gotten a lot of people into playing World of Warcraft. This is a complex game, and to help people understand it further, SCO created Method. He created Method Esports to help further his agenda of making people play World of Warcraft. This worked tremendously after his organization started going into competitions and eventually winning tournaments. To this day, SEO's devotion to World of Warcraft has helped him retain his viewership, with more people following him every single day because of how active he simply is on Twitch. Number 4. Merck Since July 10th, 2007. Merck is one of the largest viewerships on Twitch, period. His streams retain up to 40,000 plus viewers every single time, by default. On a good day, that number reaches up to 60,000 viewers easily. This isn't for no reason, by the way. Simply put, Merck is a beast at Call of Duty. His streams where he's mainly playing Call of Duty Warzone and, more recently, Black Ops Cold War, are just a highlight haven with headshots flowing like water. Merck's content is some of the most fun to watch, with his YouTube videos being just as entertaining as his streams. Number 3. Faker Since July 16, 2007 Faker. What more can be said about Faker than already has been? Faker has been one of the best League of Legends players in the world at some point, and he is one of the oldest Twitch streamers to date. Faker's ability to tactically approach every single fight in League is amazing, and that is why he has managed to remain one of the most popular Twitch streamers on the platform, despite not being a fully English streamer. In fact, Faker was so damn good at League of Legends that he was picked up by one of Korea's biggest esports organizations and has been with them since. Faker's inauguration into T1 was so massive that he became the first player to gather a total of 1,000 kills in the entirety of the Korean League of Legends Championship. He then went on to break that record and make it 2,000 kills. His streams have retained a massive viewership, with 100,000 views left on every single VOD of his. Number 2. No Tail, aka Big Daddy, since May 22, 2007. Big Daddy, who is known more popularly by his esports actual gamer tag No Tail, has the most impressive Dota career out there. Being one of the players with the most wins in his pocket, No Tail has garnered a massive Twitch population because of how long he's been on the platform as well as his incredible esports career. No Tail started his career with Fnatic, with whom he won many events, after which he switched teams to win Dota's largest tournament, the International. And he didn't stop there, he won it again in 2019. He is the only player out there with back-to-back -back TI wins. No Tail has been focusing way more on his YouTube channel in recent times. However, his Twitch is still booming, with his average viewer count being around 20 to 30,000 per stream. Number 1. Karma. Since May 22, 2007. According to Twitch's stats, Karma was the very first person to join Twitch as a streamer, and man, are we grateful that he did. Karma's Twitch career has been a roller coaster ride, so has his entire relationship with content creation. Being one of the best Call of Duty players for Optic Esports, Karma has a ton of responsibility on his shoulders for what he should be spending his time on. Luckily, he's at a spot where his streams have become more frequent, and he is even seen playing with streamers such as Offline TV on their Rust server recently. His Twitch streams are just as fun as they used to be, and my oh my is this man a god at aiming. Playing games such as Warzone and Black Ops, he makes it look like a breeze as he clicks heads and kills his opponents with relative ease. We hope you enjoyed our video and want to thank you for watching our content. If you like our videos, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to support us so we can keep making more content for you guys. That's all, and we'll see you in the next video.